starting with the separation and belonging category and um, we'll start with the special mention because there are three prizes so there's a special mention a second prize and a first prize in this category and um, the special mention prize goes to uh, memory Um, yeah, well, just a few words that we, we've sort of discussed. This, this poem is by Guyua Tiango, and it's a film by Baoke Brawa. But what we really loved was the way it seamlessly and sensitively interwove um, quite a straightforward commentary of a poem, really, with body language, uh, physical poetry, to create a really beautifully coherent and powerful work. And in just a few minutes, this film goes on a huge journey from a metaphorical journey from um, subjugation to freedom of expression. And uh, and in a way that I think for all of us on the jury, it really imprinted itself on our memories. Second prize now goes to Changing Skin. And the poem and film is by Maxime Cotton from Belgium, I think. Um, and, you know, we all, we talked about this one a lot. And it was, it's, it's what well, we decided it was a very, it was a slow, it's a slow burn of a film poem. And, you know, for film poem, it's quite long at six minutes or whatever. Um, but it just builds and builds and it kind of worms its way into your consciousness. Um, and that whole idea about we are miraculous creations yet at the same time we're often just blind to that fact you know uh, that whole thing about we're always changing our skin and you know it's very exciting actually um and there's such wit in it as well you know when he talks about where is the salt where is the salt what are we going to do about the salt um and the whole film is suffused with that kind of obfuscation that comes through in the in the repetitions and the 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 restless sort of shifting soundscape First prize, drum roll. This one goes to yes, 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 yes. <laughs> How to outline grief. But I just found, I think we all found actually, each time we watched it again, it kind of embedded itself more deeply in us um, because of the way that it combines voice, text, image and sound with really great sensitivity and also palpable personal feeling. But also the domestic scenes, even, you know, the scene with the cat, mm -hmm. you know, and the scene with the window, it, it just... And then as time passes, the more abstract kind of animation. Um, but it all added up, we felt, to like, to an exquisite meditation on grief. And even more than that, um, because grief can be a really lonely journey. It felt like quite a connect, a very connecting experience. This is the... Um, this, this quiet Zed Pessoa section. Um, so we'll start with, we have just a special mention here and a first prize in this category. Um, and the special mention goes to personification. Uh, obviously, the words are by Fernando Pessoa in his various uh, heteronyms um, and creatively adapted by Francisco Bras in a film by Quaresma Vieira. I hope that's pronounced correctly. And the way we really like the way it references and riffs with the words of Pessoa and his and his main heteronyms with great energy and wit. And it's got this crackling soundtrack, flickering visuals, the graffiti like text. It just all comes together to really embody a kind of restless, insatiably curious mind. And that I whole thing about, you know, multiple soul, souls within one person. And we thought we did that really well. Is Quaresma present, right? You want to say a few words? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm really happy to participate in this festival, especially not only, but also because it was screened in Casa Fernando, which I think is like the cherry on top of the cake <laughs> for me. And yeah, this is just uh, around Fernando Pessoa's 
um, this quietness basically and in initially I didn't have any uh, poetry on top of it or any sentence it was just music and then I actually insert the the sentences and the words when I apply to the festival so I had like one week to prepare and actually it was not me who did that job it was my friend Francisco which he he cut and paste and join all this impossible poem from different Pessoa's characters. So it was a very experimental and in the end I'm really happy and I think it brought much more intensity to the film if all, if it, were, it was only uh, the sound and uh, I mean the music. So I'm really happy, I'm really thankful for appreciating what I did. To the final um... Prize, which is the first prize in the Disquiet Said First Sewer category, goes to Build Me a Cottage. Um, obviously, this is a poem by uh, Fernando Pessoa, I believe, in his heteronym of Alexander Search. I don't know. I think that's correct. I think so, but I'm not an think, expert. <laughs> well, I, I looked it up, and I think it said it. So, okay. uh, <laughs> I'll yeah. it. <laughs> I don't think it was Wikipedia, so I think it's true. Um, and the film is by Pat Van Berkel, who's from uh, the Netherlands. Um, and we just felt this was a, a, a film, a poetry film that starts and ends with really, star it's like bookended with these startling images. And in between, it creeps into your heart quite quietly during the walk between the two um, images. Um, it's a beautifully felt rendering of Pessoa's poem, which captures, captures the words of his poem laterally rather than literally, and a really stunning collaboration between the filmmaker and the installation artist. We're going to see the films, aren't we, before we go the two, yeah. yeah. So you'll see, but um, yeah, that's enough. Thank you.